Now, Jackie, this is not the news that Sarah Everard's family wanted to hear. They are said to be distraught that a serving police officer has been arrested on suspicion of kidnap and murder. Now, there were significant developments today as detectives moved in on a number of locations in the Kent area, including the woodlands behind me here, where forensic officers have spent the day desperately searching for any clues that may lead them to the missing 33-year-old. Now, just to give you a sense of the scale of this operation, they had already searched 750 homes in the London area before honing in on one particular address in the town of Deal. Today, officers found themselves searching the garden and the home of one of their own officers. It has been a week since Sarah Everard went missing. Her family say Sarah's phone just stopped ringing, their WhatsApp messages unread. But just what happened to the 33-year-old has taken, detectives said, a deeply disturbing turn. After closing in on one of their own Metropolitan Police officers last night at this house in Deal, Kent. Initially, they held a man in his 40s on suspicion of kidnap. Today, he was further arrested on suspicion of murder and a separate allegation of indecent exposure. A woman at the same address was also arrested on suspicion of assisting an offender. Both remain in police custody. This is a serious and significant development in our search for Sarah. And the fact that the man who's been arrested is a serving Metropolitan Police officer is both shocking and deeply disturbing. Now, Sarah Everard was last seen walking along this road alone at around 9.30 at night last Wednesday. She'd been having dinner with a friend. She set off and was supposed to make the journey home, which should have taken about 50 minutes. But she hasn't been seen since. After Sarah went missing on the evening of March the 3rd in Clapham, South London, her family said it was completely out of character. Three days later, the Metropolitan Police appealed for witnesses after Sarah's declared a missing person. The next day, detectives find CCTV footage showing the 33-year-old in South London, said to be the last sighting of her. On March the 8th, police say they are keeping an open mind about their investigation. But last night... We now know they closed in on one of their own officers. It's now a week into the search for missing Sarah Everard and today detectives moved their search to here in Ashford and a number of locations in the Kent area. You can see behind me here that forensic officers are searching in the woodland area. They are desperately trying to find any clues of the missing 33-year-old. As detectives also focus their search at the home and in the garden of a fellow police officer. The man arrested works as a diplomatic protection officer. We don't know where he works, but that unit are usually responsible for guarding Downing Street, the Palace of Westminster and foreign embassies in London. Outside that house in the town of Deal, a car too has been lifted off the driveway, taken away to be examined. As the neighbours try to fathom what has happened here. It's sort of quite a shock, really. This top, this, oh, it's just a family street sort of thing. Yeah, nothing, nothing. Wouldn't expect this at all. If it is about the young lady, then um, it's very sad. There are still so many unanswered questions tonight, but those who know Sarah say they just miss their strong, beautiful friend.